Hi, right, welcome to a vector applications problem. Uh, and in this video, we look at a tug of war between Charlie Brown and Snoopy, and I think this is Woodstock. Um, and so the situation is that uh, there's a tug of war, and there's let's just say there's like an object here. And we'll say that that's like the origin. So I'm going to make a, I'm going to actually draw in like a, this is like the y axis here. A little off center. And this is like the x axis continued. And so Charlie Brown's pulling on a rope. Um, and the rope sort of divides right at this right at this instance here. And it divides into two ropes. Snoopy's got one over here, and Woodstock's got one over here. And so the question we want to answer is if Snoopy's pulling at 32 pounds in this direction, and Woodstock's pulling at 27 pounds in this direction, how hard does Charlie have to pull? So that's one thing we got to figure out. Uh, so that the, the actual objects, whatever this is, just stand still, right? Because if one side's pulling harder than the other, it's going to move. But we want to know how hard does Charlie and Brown have to pull so it stands still. And also in what direction, right? Because he's got to be pulling in the exact opposite direction of of what it feels like to him. So the idea is, because they're pulling at two different angles, as far as Charlie's concerned, Charlie Brown's concerned, it really feels like there's one person pulling in a direction kind of like in between here. And so that's where vector addition comes in, because it turns out that if you add, so first actually let's let's label some of these things. Let's, let's call Snoopy's vector um, S for Snoopy. It's called Woodstock's W for Woodstock, and he's pulling 27 pounds, so that would be the magnitude of our vector here, and Snoopy's pulling at 32 pounds. Okay, that's the force that he's pulling. And now, what you should, what I want you to notice is that if we, if we add Woodstock's vectors to Snoopy's visually, or geometrically, this is what it looks like. All right, so I just recreated Woodstock's Woodstock's uh, vector. Remember, it doesn't matter where vectors are in in the plane as long as they have the same magnitude and direction. So if I just situate ve uh, Woodstock's vector so that its tail is at Snoopy's head, then this resulting vector that I'm going to do in purple here, this resulting vector is or I guess I'm doing it in red. That is Snoopy's vector plus Woodstock's vector. And that is the vector that represents what it feels like to Charlie Brown. In other words, he feels, if he closes his eyes, it feels like there's somebody pulling in this direction, S plus W, uh, at this angle here, which we don't know. So our goal, so our goal now that, you know, the more math defined goal is to find the magnitude of Snoopy's plus Woodstock's vector and also the direction angle, okay? And then Charlie Brown just have to pull in the exact opposite direction uh, in basically 180 degrees in the, uh, in the uh, exact opposite direction if it, with the exact same force. So once we figure out how long this vector is, that represents how hard he's got to pull. So as I do this, is a, you know, you need your calculator. Just to save time in the video, I'll have the calculator computations up to the right, but I'm just going to write them down since I've already pre-done this, this problem here. That way it just it saves time. You don't have to listen to me click, click the buttons. Okay, so let's get started. We need to add these two vectors. That's the first thing we're going to do. We actually need to write Snoopy's and Woodstock's vector in component form. So Snoopy's vector in component form is going to be the magnitude 32 cosine that direction angle. Right? We've seen that this is the case. So uh, comma 32 sine 21 degrees. All right, and 
put this in the calculator, you end up getting 29.8746 and 11.477. You probably don't need to round that much, but I just did, I guess. Okay, so there's Snoopy's vector. Notice it agrees with the actual vector we see, right? Positive x coordinate or x component, positive y component, and that certainly agrees with the picture. Woodstocks would be magnitude 27. Now here's where you gotta be careful. We're imagining these angles in standard position, so I've gotta write, I've gotta write. Um, that 28 degrees is negative 28 degrees because it's a negative angle in order for everything to work out well. It's like I'm out of battery in my computer. I hope I make it. And this ends up giving you 23.8396. Negative twelve point six seven five seven. Again, I probably should I could have rounded it the thousandth place, maybe even hundredths, but this will be fine. And again, this agrees with the picture, right? It's a positive x component, negative y component, as we see here. So now we're getting there. If we add the two vectors together, well, that just amounts to adding the X components, and you get 53.7142, and when you add the Y components, you get negative 1.198. And so I'm just going to show you I'm going to re kind of now now we know we're, we don't really need to deal with all these other vectors just this s plus w so what I'm going to do is just make a little sort of another diagram here where we just focus on the key the key things of the moment so this is s plus w and That's S plus W. So we got to find the magnitude there. And so notice by finding it in component form, that really amounts to us knowing that this sort of side of our triangle is 53.7142. And this here is negative 1.198. And we have everything we need now because we can get this angle here. And all that means is that, and we can get the, the length of that hypotenuse. And all that means is that Charlie Brown's going to have to pull in the complete opposite direction at the exact same magnitude there. Okay, so once we know this angle, because these are vertical angles, if we just add 180 to that angle, we'll know that angle right there, and we'll know the direction he has to pull. So the magnitude of of s plus w. Uh, we could use the Pythagorean theorem, but I think you've done it hopefully enough in class to see oops, to see that it's going to end up being this. And so that ends up being 53 point 7276 pounds. So now we know how hard he has to pull, but again, he, he can't just pull in any direction or else it won't, you know, it'll still move. He's got to pull in the exact opposite direction. So we've got to find this angle here. And we can do that because the tangent of that angle is negative 1.198 divided by 53. 0.7142, which means that that angle is the tan inverse of negative 
1.198 divided by 53.7142. And when you do that, you end up getting, well, this one I guess I didn't do up, tan inverse of negative 1.198 divided by 53.7142 negative 1.278 so that's this angle here which means that this angle here is 1.27 Oh, I wrote 9 there, 8, 278 degrees. And so if we want this one here to really describe the direction it needs to pull, we need to do 180 degrees minus 1.278 degrees. And that equals 178.722. All right, so he needs to pull 53.726 pounds at an angle of 178.722 degrees. Okay, so that was a little longer video, but hopefully you get the idea how vectors can be used um, in applications such as tug of war or anything involving force. I mean, vectors are very useful uh, in physics. And so here's a little taste of, of uh, the type of problems you can do.